Hello, my name is Jim, and today I'm going to show you our SEO GPT plugin for ChatGPT. It's a plugin that we at SEO Vendor made based on our core AI technology that we have been using in house for about the last uh, six or seven years or so. And uh, we've what we've done is we've taken a lot of the analytics part of that in order to provide the data to ChatGPT. And today I'm going to show you a few examples of how this works. Um, so uh, let's first of all let's take a look at um, some ranking questions and see how it does on uh, rank on a simple question like uh, ranking a website for a particular keyword. So here we're going to ask it to rank JM.com for Nashville Roofing Company, and it's using the SEO GPT. So uh, what it's done is then you can see it's provided uh, some specific title and made a description uh, recommendations along with other ways to improve it, uh, the SEO for, for the website. Um, and uh, some of it you can see is very specific towards the content that it was able to obtain from SEO GPT. Now, um, something else we can also do is we can also tell it to then examine the competitors. So I'm going to copy over that to allow it to analyze the competitors as well. And let's see what it does. So here it's picked out the competitors because this is actually data that was provided earlier um, from SEO GPT. And um, so here are here are some of it. It looks like it's, um, I guess I could tell it to continue. Okay. And if we wanted to, we can also have it look into um, something a little bit more particular. Let's say uh, we wanted to look at Nashville Roofing Co. Uh, from that from that list and see uh, what they're doing that we can also use at jm.com. Uh, so we're going to use uh, it's going to choose to use SEO GPT to come up with some analysis for that, and it's going to um, provide some key takeaways. And if we really wanted to get nitty gritty, I guess we can also uh, tell it to uh, ask it specifically what do we need to change with uh, jm.com. And let's see what it does there. And we can tell it to continue. So here, obviously, when it gets down to some things like building uh, building quality backlinks and all that, that's not really part of the analysis anymore. This is more of chat GDP kind of adding on or extending its own knowledge based on what it knows about SEO. But here, let's take a look at maybe perhaps another example of where we're comparing two sites and see what it can find for us. So here, we're going to have a compare uh, Intermountain and V.org and Inland Medical Center. And so, what's interesting about this is you can see it actually uses um, SOGBD twice in a row because it's analyzing each site and it knows to use each one once. And then it actually provides a comparison between the two, and as well as um, a way to sort of improve one among the other, depending on how compelling. Uh, one set of detail is among the other. So this is actually not too bad. Um, and we can we can also go, actually go one step further. There's many ways we can use this because once we have the data from the website, 
um, there's many ways we can compare. So for example, here we can also compare the body content and it allows to um, know a little bit more about the individual uh, sections inside the content itself to get an idea of how the actual content compares. Okay? Because in SEO and when we're doing um, search engine optimizations, this is where it matters most is actually looking deep into the content and looking at um, how it compares uh, more thoroughly. So I hope you find this tool to be useful and uh, let me know if you have any questions.